No matter which Graco sprayer you purchased, the basic components are very similar. Consult your manual for information about operation with advanced features of specific sprayers. In this section, we will discuss control settings, suction and drain tubes, inlet strainer, power flush adapter, spray tip, gun and hose. Let's start with our control settings. Graco sprayers have three separate controls, on-off power switch, prime spray valve, and the pressure control knob. The pressure control knob allows you to control the spraying pressure. Now to reduce overspray, always start at the lowest pressure setting and increase pressure until you achieve an acceptable spray pattern. Turn the knob clockwise for more pressure and counterclockwise for less pressure. The knob has four symbols to help you determine the desired pressure setting. This setting is used when you have the pressure roller accessory attached to your sprayer. The second setting is for when you are priming and cleaning your sprayer. Third is the low pressure spray symbol for when you're using lighter material like stains and enamels. And fourth is for when you're spraying at the highest pressure for heavy materials like latex or acrylic paint. Turn the prime spray valve down to fill the pump with paint or whatever material you're using. Turn the valve forward to fill the gun with material. The prime spray valve is also used to relieve pressure in the system. The power switch is located on the back side of most sprayers. Some sprayers have the push prime feature that assures fast priming with every use. The push prime button is located either on the side or front of your sprayer. Your sprayer has two tubes. The suction tube, the larger of the two tubes, draws the paint into the pump, while the smaller drain tube is used for draining waste material from the pump. The inlet strainer is located at the bottom of the suction tube and prevents objects such as twigs, leaves, or rocks from being sucked into the pump and damaging your sprayer. The power flush adapter is an easy way to clean the sprayer when you're using water-based paint. Now some Graco sprayers come with an Insta-Clean filter. This filter keeps you spraying longer by reducing spray tip clogs. The filter is automatically clean when the prime spray valve is used to relieve pressure. Other Graco sprayers include a pump filter that should be removed and cleaned after each job. Your Graco sprayer comes complete with a spray tip gun and hose. The particular gun and length of the hose that you own depends upon which sprayer you've purchased. The gun includes a removable gun filter for easy cleaning after each use. All Grego guns come with a 515 reversible spray tip and guard, which is ideal for spraying paint on larger surfaces. If you plan to spray smaller surfaces or thinner materials such as stain, refer to your operator's manual for the recommended spray tip which is available at your local retail store. Assembling your new sprayer couldn't be easier. It's practically complete right out of the box. First, connect the hose to the sprayer at the fluid outlet and tighten it with a wrench. Connect the gun to the other end of the hose. If the hose is already connected, make sure the connections are tight. Use two wrenches to tighten the connections. Before removing the spray tip and guard, double check that the gun trigger lock is engaged. Unscrew the spray tip and guard assembly from the gun. Uncoil the hose and let it lay flat. It's natural for the hose to recoil a bit. Make sure the power switch is off. Turn the pressure control counterclockwise all the way down. Now, plug the sprayer into a grounded wall outlet. And that's it. Let's get ready to start the sprayer.